Welcome back, folks, to the Royal Rumble. And coming up next, it is the Hitman versus the Architect. Bret Hart challenges Seth Rollins for the NLW World Championship. And this whole situation came about when Bret Hart made his return to No Limits Wrestling. Seth Rollins putting the World Championship on the line against Pentagon Jr. And he just had his arm snapped in two. But Seth Rollins finds a way, and despite getting a broken arm, Seth Rollins is still your NLW World Champion. And Rollins has been outspoken about the fact that he believes Daniel Bryan should get a shot at the world title. After all, Bryan has built up an impressive set of victories in the past few weeks. What the hell is he doing here? Well, Hall has shown up at the arena and he is beating up everyone in the backstage area looking for Stone Cold Steve Austin. He wants a shot at the world title. But Daniel Bryan comes to the aid of Tyler Bate. Next week it's going to be Daniel Bryan versus Bret Hart. The winner faces Seth Rollins for the world title at the Royal Rumble. And Bret Hart has been very arrogant. But Bryan with the toe, no! Caught with the sharpshooter. And Daniel Bryan has to tap. Bret Hart is your number one contender. And despite Seth Rollins having his arm in a sling, he is still ready for the Royal Rumble. It is the excellence of execution versus the architect. Seth Rollins wants to burn it down at the Rumble. Bret Hart, the hitman, wants to take Rollins championship. Bret Hart. A veteran of the sport, Seth Rollins, a young up-and-comer, but that arm has to come into play when you consider the damage that has been done. Bret Hart trying to get an advantage before the Rumble. Seth Rollins, will that arm hold up? Rollins versus Hart, NLW title on the line. And the arm injury of Seth Rollins has to play a factor in this championship match and Bret Hart knows this he has been taking advantage of that you saw it in the contract signing but Bret Hart does not need to use underhanded tactics because as he so rightly says he's the best there is the best there was and quite possibly the best there ever will be here he comes now with his trademark sunglasses cool as you like ready for the biggest opportunity of his NLW career thus far. He returned on episode 63, demanding to speak to Commissioner Stone Cold Steve Austin regarding a championship match. And despite only having a handful of matches in NLW prior, he is walking into the Rumble as the challenger and could we be seeing him walking out as the champion? Not if this man has anything to do with it. He is the architect. And could he be the one to shoot down the hitman? Here comes the LW World Champion. This is Seth freaking Rollins. He won that championship way back at WrestleMania. And he wants to go into WrestleMania to defend it. He has defeated the likes of Edge. Pentagon Jr. and others in his title reign thus far and now he wants to add a hitman Bret Hart to that list and Hart and Rollins face to face right now Seth Rollins was openly critical of Bret Hart several weeks ago saying you can't just walk in and demand opportunities you gotta earn them however Bret Hart has earned this right to face Rollins here tonight by defeating Daniel Bryan several weeks back. And the matchup is underway. A headlock from Seth Rollins, who has taken down another headlock. And a shoulder block takedown from the technician Bret Hart, but Rollins slides under. Leap frogs over. And a beautiful drop kick from Rollins. Knocks Bret Hart loopy, now goes for a hip toss. Turned around, the hip toss lands on his feet, and another headlock takeover. And this is surprising from Seth Rollins. Matching Bret Hart in a technician's game early on. There you see the arm drag and a crucifix bomb beautifully executed from Bret Hart and thus slowing the pace down to his style. 
Seth Rollins is as quick as a cat. And the Hitman is going to look to try and evade that quickness, as you saw there. Had the headlock and grabbed him by the hair. Bret Hart does not care if these fans like him or not. He wants to win the world title. There's a blockbuster from Seth Rollins. Taking the Hitman down. But Bret on the outside. Sunset flip in. In for the cover. That's Rollins turn with a pinfall. And he went for a power bomb, but didn't have the strength in that arm to hold him. As mentioned, he's been injured, but now going for the ripcord knee, but turned around into a vicious chop from Bret Hart, who goes for a suplex, but turned into a snap suplex. Hooks the outside leg, and Seth Rollins has done his homework here on Bret Hart, and now going to pick the ankle and try and wear down a body part. Rollins knows what he's up against, against Bret Hart, but Bret Hart doing the exact same thing, picking the ankle, and now a hip lock. Boom! Got turned around and sent to the outside via his own momentum. And now Rollins, with the knee from the apron, takes out Bret. And Bret Hart, with the uppercut now, and a snap German. Rather, a snap suplex on the floor from Bret Hart. And throws Seth Rollins, the world champ, right into the ring post. And look at this. He wants to attack the legs for the sharpshooter. But here comes Rollins. Now he hits it. A power bomb right into the steel steps. And throwing the challenger back in. Seth Rollins now utilizing more of a high flying game with another blockbuster from the second rope. An apt pay-per-view for Rollins to be competing at. He won the last Royal Rumble, entering at number one and winning the whole thing. But right there, he was not winning. Got his leg kicked out from under him, and a DDT from Brett, followed by an elbow from the deadliest rope, Brett's rope, the second rope there. And Bret Hart now, with that leg and the dragon screw, and a stop to that knee. Seth Rollins planted on the top rope as well and again working over the near Rollins Bret Hart trying to set up for that sharpshooter which he used to defeat Daniel Bryan to earn this opportunity but Rollins near the ropes and Bret Hart backing off he doesn't want to get disqualified he wants to win that championship but Back drop to the floor. Rollins had him scouted. But you can see he's holding that knee and trying to now come back, shaking it off. So Bay Suicida and another suicide dive. Go for the trifecta and a third one. Seth Rollins off fire here. The world champion rebounding off the ropes. And like Speedy Gonzalez runs at Bret Hart and takes him out and Brett going back in take a look at this I think the last one had the most impact on it and you heard the sickening thud of Bret Hart's spine against the barricade and now back to live action and Brett viciously went into the turnbuckle all the compression on his chest and Seth follows it up with a sling blade Rollins is looking very good here but so is Bret Hart. What a transition with the arm drag. But there's Rollins to kick himself free. But Bret back to his feet and a clubbing blow to the spine. Now a victory roll. In for the cover, but another roll through from Rollins has him covered. But now on his feet, going for the slam. But Rollins turns it into a small package. And another kick out from Bret Hitman Hart. It has been very even thus far. This is a and a kick. A massive clothesline. Big Western Lariat from the Hitman, and both men are now down. Turning Seth Rollins inside out, and stomping on the spine again. And Brett picks him up, and a vicious whip. Rollins turned up again. And Brett follows him, does not waste any time. Not the showboat, immediately goes for the top rope superplex. Driving Rollins from the top. In for the cover. But a kick out and possibly a mistake from Brett not to hurt the leg. 
Perhaps he's fatigued after the high-flying, fast-paced offense that Rollins is bringing. But the world champion just got driven into the near Bret Hart and flows over with a next snap. Bret Hart has faced legends like Hulk Hogan, Mr. Perfect. The list goes on and on in his legendary career. And tonight, for the first time ever, he faces the world champion Seth Rollins and has the opportunity to win the top star in this company. And then Zagiri by Seth Rollins with a code win. Code win, could it be doing it? No. Not about to retain the title just yet. But Bret Hart on the outside, on the apron, following that code red out of nowhere. But Bret is there. Has the champion held. And now taken to the outside. And Bret Hart wants to suplex Rollins off the ring apron to the floor, does he? But a suplex on the apron. And Falcon Arrow to the floor below. What a transition from Seth Rollins. The Falcon Arrow to the floor. Well, that took a lot out of the champion. Who's currently holding his spine. Not as much as Bret, mind you. Look at this again. The hardest part of the ring. You've been told it enough times. Brett felt it firsthand with that suplex and then the Falcon Arrow onto the floor. Brett doesn't know where he is, but drags the arm, the injured arm of Rollins, into the ring post and then drop kicks the steel stairs. And his knee is caught. His knee is caught between the apron and the steel. And Brett stomps the stairs again. And now Brett once again working over the knee. And the figure four leg lock on the ring post. And we saw Bret Hart do this to Tyler Bate a few weeks ago. And he's doing it to the champion Seth Rollins tonight. Now Bret goes in again, wasting no time whatsoever. Is now the time to apply the sharpshooter and win this match. No, it's not. Rollins kicks himself free. And a snap decision making from Bret Hart to deliver the side Russian leg sweep. And Bret trying to maintain his composure. And he kicks the leg right out from under Seth Rollins. Now on the top rope. What is he planning here? But Rollins back drops him to the floor from the top rope. And now Rollins climbs to the top. A move of desperation behind from the Phoenix Flash. Goes the leg. But a kick out from Brett. A move out of desperation there from the champion. Who hears the Phoenix Flash. Now wants to go for the buckle bomb. But look at that. Both his knee and his arm are knackered. And he punts the arm. And now an arm bar. And remember the injury that Seth Rollins suffered in his last title defense against Pentagon Jr. at Zero Fear. He is still suffering. He's only just been medically cleared to compete. But picks him up. Look at the for Rollins with a buckle bomb. And the shooting star press standing to Seth Rollins, I should say from Rollins, to Bret Hart, who is now in trouble. And Rollins wants to hit that curb stomp. That he used to win the rock title. No, Brett catches the boot. Go for the sharpshooter. Kicked himself free. But now hacks out the knee. And Rollins does a full 180 twist. After to get his leg hacked out. Now going for the sharpshooter. Brett says it's over. But look at the strength of Rollins with a flatliner. Fired up with a German. Going for the rip caught. Knee in the court. And here it is. Rip caught knee. The revolution turned into the sharpshooter. And Seth Rollins can feel the tendons in his knees snapping. As the hitman wrenches on those legs. Can the champion make it to the ropes in the nick of time? Can he? No, he can. He's dragged back to the center of the ring. But look at Seth trying to reverse the pressure. And look at this. Small package. Small package. No. Bret Hart kicks out. Bret trying to get back to his feet. But look at that. Presses Seth Rollins over. And a mule kick to the groin. I don't think the referee saw it. Otherwise he would have disqualified Bret. And look at Bret. Now standing on that injured arm. 
Well, the sharpshooter has taken its toll on Seth Rollins. He's from deep in the knees. But Wyman just cracked him in the skull. And he gets a hand on the bottom rope. The revolution knee out of nowhere. It would have done it had it been in the center of the ring. But Bret Hart, the legend, knew where he was in the ring. And had a hand on the bottom rope. He's got two knackered knees and possibly a broken nose. After that boot into the face. And what the hell is this? Bret Hart on the top rope with Seth Rollins, who is desperately trying to fight himself free. And the Frankensteiner. Rollins tries to shake off the damage. Can he hit it? Yes, he can. Curve stone to Bret. And this one's over. Bret Hart succumbs to the curb stop and still your world champion is the assassin who slayed the hitman Seth freaking Rollins and he holds that championship proudly although the doctor is going to have his work cut out for him at the end of this match when Seth goes back to the trainers room well the sharpshooter was turned into a small package then I thought that Rollins was knocked out from that boot. However, the top rope gut buster was turned around into the Frankensteiner. And then finally, that curb stomp, the very last ounce of strength that Rollins had in that knee, he used it to put away Bret Hart. And he still is the NLW World Champion, but Bret has not left. And, well, holding out that hand, to signify respect perhaps. And he's done it. Well after all that Bret Hart has done, it is a great sign of sportsmanship for him to outstretch the hand and admit that Seth Rollins was a better man here tonight. But what an incredible match between two of the best in the world today. Seth Rollins defeats Bret Hart and is still your NLW World Champion. Well, folks, we are not done here tonight. We still have our 30-man Royal Rumble match to come. Who is going to face their brand's champion at WrestleMania 4? Find out. It's coming up next, the Royal Rumble.